714. The orders are still coming in. I can't make any more beanie cupcakes. I did like three different shades of pink. To be honest with you guys, I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh my God, I have to do 102 of these. Hey guys, this brings back so many memories from when I used to do a lot of cakes and vlog a lot. So I'm starting my vlog at 9 p.m. on a Thursday night. It's been 27 hours since I've been sitting here. Obviously I took a break to go sleep, but it took me 27 hours to make 714 petals to create 102 peony flowers, which requires seven petals each. And um, my hands are so numb and so tired. But if you're wondering and you're not following along on Instagram, hint, hint, go follow me on Instagram. I'm basically prepping for all the Mother's Day orders for the Sunday coming up. I have a lot of baking to do, and that's obviously I'm gonna I'm obviously gonna do the baking the day before, so I'll be ready the day of. But all the flowers, I can't do everything in one day and the flowers need to be done beforehand. So I started on Tuesday and I finally just finished making the last petal. And now I have to color every petal and then put each flower together before tomorrow because tomorrow I have to start baking for Saturday's order and then Saturday I have to bake for Sunday's order. So that's what's happening. I know there's a lot of talking going on. I'm gonna quickly show you guys the petals now, like as they are blank before I color them. But before I do that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, guys, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel right now, especially for those of you who come back every single time I post and you guys are subscribed. If you don't have a YouTube account, make a YouTube account and subscribe. No, just subscribe, support the girl in her dirty icing covered sugar covered sweater. Do it to support the journey. All right, so these are all the flower petals. 714 petals for flowers, guys. And halfway through, I ran out of wire. So then that's why the rest of the wires are green wires because that's the only kind of wire I could find. But, yo, it is what it is. So these are all the flowers. I have it all set up here. I'm gonna put my gloves on because the stuff stains like no tomorrow. And I'm gonna color petal by petal and start piling up the flowers. Snoopy is literally going ape upstairs. So I'm gonna watch community and i'm gonna i'm gonna watch community i'm gonna color all these flowers and my goal is to be done by 1 a.m so that i can sleep and then wake up early tomorrow and bake all day long also the orders are still coming in and if you guys know my story and you guys know i never say no even if i am overbooked i will if it's gonna be too much but if i can push myself and get through it i will take it to challenge myself but only to a certain point um like for example the peony cupcakes are all sold out because i can't make any more peony cupcakes they're, they're done that's it like, there's no more but i'm still getting inquiries and stuff anyways i'm gonna do this business and i will see you guys maybe at 1 a.m to update you on the progress all right so it's 11:30. And I think I should go to sleep, take a hot shower. I am like a hot mess right now. My hands are stained, my gloves didn't work, it kind of leaked through my gloves, but it's fine. I've made one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight flowers, and um, I think I'm on point, but this is what they look like. So I did like three different shades of pink, so it look nice in the boxes, and they look like that they look so pretty these are actually my favorite flowers if you guys didn't already know but i have my little system set up over here got my brushes got my pliers got these little center thingies got this wire and i got my stained hands now great but yeah so i'm gonna go take a shower and i'm gonna go to sleep and i want to wake up really early tomorrow and start fresh because last night I went to sleep late and I woke up early today, so I'm tired from that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a reset and be fully prepared for the bake day tomorrow and the rest of these flowers. So I guess I shall see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, yes, I'm sitting on the floor on a yoga mat. 230 cupcakes later. Oh my God, I'm so tired. My back is hurting so much. There's a part on my back where your scalp scapula is that bone on the upper back and behind it on the right hand side there's such sharp pain so i got my mom to like stab her elbow into my bag but then she couldn't put enough force so i'm like just kick me so like i'm sitting there and she's literally kicking her heel into my back i haven't done this in a while i'm so 
not used to it. But 230 cupcakes done out of the way. Flowers are still not done. I've done about 30 flowers. I colored them and put them together. The rest still have to be done, which is fine. At least I get to sit down. My feet are done. My heels hurt. Um, the last batch of cupcakes are in the oven. And yeah, so I'm just gonna clear up in the kitchen. I'm not gonna show you guys my kitchen because it's a hot mess. Literally, there's like a thousand stations. My mom's like, it literally looks like a cake factory. But that is what's happening. It was so exciting when I was doing the last batch. As I was finishing, I was throwing everything in the sink and it's like the most satisfying feeling in the world. Can anyone that cooks relate to cleaning up while you're cooking? Like it's so satisfying. So I'm excited to clean up now and I'll probably have dinner. To be honest with you guys, I haven't eaten anything all day. I know that's not good, but when I'm working in the kitchen or like especially around sugar, I just, I can't eat. And especially when I have so much to do, I feel like, like I can't just stop, take a break and eat. I just need to get it all done. So I haven't eaten yet and I'm getting hungry. Before you guys think I'm crazy, I basically didn't eat because I don't, it just happens to a lot of people, but when you're making a lot of food or anything, you kind of fill yourself up with the smells, kind of. So I'm not hungry. It's just like my mouth is, feels so sweet because there's just so much sugar flying around and from all like from all the sifting and stuff. So yeah, so I didn't eat. I'm gonna eat after this batch is done and then take like maybe an hour break and then bash out all the orders for tomorrow. So that's what's happening. But let me show you what the flowers look like. So this is what the flowers are looking like. It literally looks like a um, like a garden on this thing, like you know the passageways. But yeah, look, they look so pretty. I did like three different shades of pink and then those all need to be done. You can see all the cupcakes over there, but yeah. Oh my God, I have to do 102 of these. So whenever I feel like I have to stay up late, when I say late, I mean like two, three, maybe four in the morning. I always tell myself, just pretend that you're doing a security shift. So for those of you who know me, know that I used to do security back in the days. I used to be a bouncer at clubs and stuff. So I used to work at a pharmacy during the day, come home, do some cake orders, and go to my night shift at security and be home by like four or five in the morning. So when I need to do a late night, I go like, yo, pretend you're doing a security shift because you did it. You did it then and you can do it now. So I personally feel like I'm gonna be up till like eight. No, oh my God, eight. I feel like I'm gonna be up till like three in the morning to finish tomorrow's orders. So I'm making coffee. I'm making like a big pot of coffee and I'm just gonna just smash it out. I'm just gonna do what I can do because I can sleep when I'm done like I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow, right? But yeah, so that's my mentality. I'm doing a security shift and I'm, I'm doing I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it Um, it's 12 31. My hands are all mess. Yay. Oh my god. It's so bright. So it's 12 31 I have my headphones on because people are sleeping upstairs. My blender is already loud enough My airbrush machine is already loud enough. So got my music going 12 31 around 11 30 debated on going to sleep but I'm like, no, me more coffee, chugged it. And now I'm packaging. So this is what they're looking like. Uh, the lighting is not the best, but yeah. And now, pulled out the handy dandy airbrush machine. I'm basically using this pearl sheen. Look at all that paint stain on this art mask. This is art right here. So it's like an airbrush sheen um, little shiny effect. So I'm gonna airbrush the cupcake so all the flowers will have like a little bit of a glow situation. So I think that's mad extra, but it looks so pretty. My bestie right here. Me, me and this guy go way back. Don't know how to use this thing. All I know is this whole thing together, this gun, this gun, I've customized this because I've broken so many pieces. Yeah. So I don't know if you can tell under the light, but I airbrushed this. Do you see that? Do you see that little glimmer right there? That little, that little sheen. So you can compare it to that. It's like it's flat, and this is like nice and shiny. Look how nice it looks, happy. So update for you guys. Oh my god, so sorry. Update for you guys. It's 1:49 a.m. I'm seeing double vision now. I'm tired. So and my hands are hurting. My hands are hurting so much. 
Like my skin is hurting from all the washing. But I said three o'clock. So I'm gonna, I packaged, how many boxes did I pack? I packed, I packed four boxes so far. I have about like 10 more to do for tomorrow. But I'm gonna, I have, so I did all, so I have to do more of the flowers because I need to package them and I only have three flowers left. So I'm just gonna sit down and watch some Netflix and make as many flowers as I can in the next hour. It, I'm gonna be up till three. Like I said, I have no choice. I have to do it. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna bash as many flowers as I can. I literally have three left. And I have to do basically, color them here. Those are all the center thingies. Color them here. I have these. And then I have all these. If you think about it, no, it's still a lot. I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah, let's get coloring, guys. I can't wait to get into bed. You don't understand. Good morning, guys. I got a cute little headband on because why not? Oh my god, coffee. So I literally, so I went to sleep at three. Like I said, I was going to. Very proud of myself. I slept for four hours. It is. 841 first pickup is at 9 a.m. and I woke up at 7 because I wanted to print out labels and stuff Oh my god guys, I packaged my first box and it's so cute Like yesterday I put the stuff in the boxes with labels and today I had to do the printing and stuff So I printed the tags and stickers and stuff so cute so cute I'm so happy, but basically yesterday I could have gone to sleep later than three But my fingers were hurting so much like I couldn't even go like this So I'm like yo, I need to take a break. So I'm like even if I can't sleep, I'll just like lie here because I had so much coffee. So that's what I did and now I feel more active. And now I'm just going to start completing all the orders for today. And then I'm going to start working on the orders for tomorrow. So back in the kitchen all day today. This whole vlog is going to be literally in the kitchen, maybe upstairs. So this is literally my pickup station. So I do all my packaging back there. Then I put it on this table to collect. So like this would be the first one, second one, third one. Now I only have one, so I only have one box here. But basically I have these on so I know whose box is whose. And I have these cute stickers. And then I have like a happy Mother's Day tag that I made. And then I have like my business information. Hello. Yes, madame. Why are you working? Do you want cupcake? Huh? All right guys, I don't know why I'm sitting, but I'm tired. My finger joints are hurting so much. <laughs> but I have two more left for today to package. I still gotta make one more. I gotta make cinnamon buns still, and then I'll be able to take it more easier so then I can work on tomorrow. So hype to relax. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I'm busted, like I'm so fried. Only my clients who come pick up their orders or deliveries know how I'm feeling right now because you see me walking outside all crazy looking and tired and covered in icing, but that's the reality. I don't know why everyone thinks it's, it's all like gentle, gentle been around baking it's hard work guys it's not easy it's, especially when you're doing everything on your own it's very very hard but nonetheless very rewarding almost done tomorrow's our birthday so i can't wait to just bring it in relaxing and knowing that i work so hard this whole weekend and week the whole week since tuesday oh my gosh but i'm just packaging up the last bit of pickups for today i have two deliveries to make and then 
gonna go pick up my mom's um, balloons and flowers that I ordered. So I'm gonna pick that up after my delivery so she thinks that I'm just gonna do delivery. It's like, it's, 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 is it a thing that, is it even a surprise when parents already, when like parents already know you're gonna go out to get them something for their day, their birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever. Like, is it, is it, but yeah, you still wanna surprise them. It's so weird, but like, yeah, so I'm gonna go pick that up. And then when I come home, I'm doing absolutely nothing. And I'm not even cleaning my kitchen, I'm cleaning it tomorrow. Actually, I think I might clean it today because tomorrow's my birthday and then I can just relax all day. Last couple packagings and then I have 48 more cupcakes to make. Uh, they're iced and packaged. I just gotta make the flowers. So I have to call the flowers and put them together and stick them on the cupcakes and airbrush them. Um, it's not a lot of work, but it's a lot of dainty work. So it's a lot of um, hand works. Like my fingers are so swollen that when I go like this, it hurts so much and with the wiring, cause I'm playing with wires, right? There's wires in these pedals. So the edges of my fingers, even though I'm wearing gloves, the edges of my fingers are like, like bruised. It, it hurts so much. Like I can't even express to you guys. You can think I'm over exaggerating, but you can even tell how my voice has changed from the beginning of this vlog to now. But yeah, it's been two minutes of me talking. I'm gonna finish this coffee, finish these boxes, and I'm gonna start the pedals and try to finish as soon as possible. It's about almost 10 o'clock in the morning and it is what it is. All right guys, so my back is fried. I am done, I'm tired, but it's 2.57 and I'm officially done. Uh, actually not really, I'm just making the last two deliveries now and then pick up mom's balloons and flowers. She still has no idea, by the way. Then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna sit in the shower for like two, two, three, two three hours, you know, the average two, three hours. So I'm gonna sit in the shower for two, three hours and Relax. So let's do these deliveries. They're all in Brampton. It's been a long week, guys. It's been a long week. So these are the balloons that I got. Turn around. There. Happy Mother's Day. I love this. I think it's so freaking cute. And then it comes attached with a little flower. There's like roses and stuff in here that haven't bloomed yet. So that's exciting. But this... I love it. This is so cool and pretty. I'll leave their info down below as well. But they do so many different cool displays and bigger balloons and bundles and all this kind of stuff. But this was like the Mother's Day one. Super cute. Mom got super happy because it was different. And then it also came with this orchid. I love orchids. And look at the color of this one. Oh my god. I don't know if I can show you. But oh my. Look how. Wow. So vibrant. I love it. So pretty. And it matches so nicely together. This flower is from Ananda's. And this is from R & Co. Decor. So I'll leave their stuff down below if you guys are ever interested. Check them out. They do deliver sometimes, I believe. And yeah. So different. I love it. Alright, so I am I'm so tired. You guys can probably tell my voice is so messed up right now. But I'm literally so tired. It is the next day. I went to sleep at like 1 in the morning. And I fell asleep for I went to sleep about 12 hours. Which was so nice and refreshing. Um, it's my birthday today, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna enjoy the day. Thank you to everyone that stayed up till midnight for me or 5 a.m. In, in England and that was so sweet of everyone, but I'm still so tired. I'm gonna literally end this vlog here. I'm gonna chill out today. I'm gonna take it easy and just enjoy the day in quarantine, you know? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this hectic weekend or week that I had. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Remember to always stay gold, and I'll see you very soon. You can put your dollar on me. Promise I'll be everything you want and you need. You got me going up and above. I can't get enough. It's like you put a spell on me. If you really about it, then I'm about it for sure Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before Ain't nobody gotta know, we can keep it on the low You're the one I've been looking for